Let's talk about the masculine character. Many of us, they take their character for granted. You just think that, well, I'm an introvert or I'm an extrovert or I'm just a bit more shy, I'm non-confrontational, I don't like children, I like children. Well, do you know how character is formed? It happens in childhood. What you got or you didn't get, the way you got it, trauma, abuse, lack of love, things that we've all suffered, they shape our character. So I'm afraid that if you want to be a genuine man, you have to find yourself again. And what I want to talk about is, in this episode specifically is the hidden motives behind someone's character. You're not an extrovert or an introvert for no reason. Many people who are just hidden and shied away is because they just fear. They fear their fathers or they fear the world because of their mom and dad, what they gave them, they didn't get. Some people, they're operating under hidden assumptions that the world is not safe or that the world is out there for them, narcissistic. We all have motives behind our character. The hidden motives behind our character, they drive us. And sometimes the world might applaud us, might say, yes, he's an achiever. Without seeing that this achiever is, is being driven from an unseen need, need to prove something to his father or, or, or to the world, need to prove something or, or fear of something. We need to examine our characters very well and look for those hidden motives. Because if we are driven, we will not be led. And therefore, we will not be able to lead. We won't be good leaders. If we ourselves are not led by our inner selves, by our gifting, by the, our purpose, then we'll be driven by something else. Either by fear or by this desire to prove something to the world. And we've seen the abuse and the darkness that such a leader can bring in the long run. We've also seen what happens when good leaders, people have, that have potential, just stand by because of their fear. They, they're not able to lead well. Well, we need to examine our hidden motives. If anything about them is unhealthy, we need to discover that root. Because then we'll be liberated and we'll be healthy. That's what we must do. We must take that path of inner examination. Where do they come from? The hidden motives behind our character. Not only behind our actions, but behind our very self, the way we are. We take it for granted, but it is not. If it has been formed, it can also be transformed. If it had been set in stone, I guarantee you that this can be melted. And that melting might be a painful process. It will be a painful process, but it is well worth it. Examine those hidden motives.